Welcome everyone, this is Bogdan and I'd like to present to you the gaming news and updates for both PC and mobile on September 6, 2017. Meet the Revenant. Skyforge latest update provides us with a brand new spear wielding class, the Revenant. Not too much is revealed in the teaser for this class besides its awesome looking spear and the fear on the minion's face. The revenants are from an ancient tribe of barbarians touched by the essence of immortality. They return to life after a glorious death in battle which makes the tribe call them the return or ghosts. Hmm, that's a weird association. On the website my.com it's shown the icon for the Reverend's first ability called Siphon. With this ability this class draws life from his target with a 3 second channeling cast and draws his enemy to him. After 3 seconds the target will get knocked down and the critical hit chance on it will be increased by 20% for 10 seconds. The Revenant packs can be pre-ordered with a 30% discount starting on September the 6th. The update goes live on September 19th. Also be sure to check the market if you're interested in Vector's medals, which will get a 30% discount for everyone. I hope with this new update uh, Skyforge will get more people back from its player base which was uh, slowly decreasing in the last 6 months. Moving forward, the team from Pearl Abyss rewards us with a card dungeon called Savage Rift. This is the third dungeon from this game and only players from level 56 and above can enter it. The dungeon looks interesting, with 25 waves of monsters coming at the 10 player team. The team has to protect the tower with their combat abilities and ultimately defeat the boss. Teammates cannot use their resurrection skills after one of their comrades is dead, but they may use a medical kit. There are 5 bosses at the end of every 5 stages past and the players have to defeat them in order to get the rewards which range from cheap materials to armor and weapons. Savage Rift players obtain points and buy siege weapons which help to defeat the monsters. What I like the most about Black Desert Online is the fact that the time gap uh, between the Eastern and Western releases uh, for the major updates is uh, shorter compared to other uh, major uh, MMORPGs. I'm sure most of you guys are eager to play the new class, the Mystic, as she has already got her awakening in the East. Also heard a rumor about this class that the Mystic can walk on water. Isn't that cool? If you want to fight against ferocious beasts in the Shattered Isles, make sure to check the game Dauntless which just entered close beta. The team from Phoenix Labs worked hard for the last few months to improve the game during its alpha stage. The co-op action RPG is filled with giant monsters which players have to defeat. These beasts consume every resource and drop of ether in its path, leaving nothing but lifeless husks. Behemoths draw their deadly power from the earth itself, swallowing up latent ether in the ground. The game graphics and the world looks awesome and has a touch of Monster Hunter Online. There are no classes in Dauntless, the game is based on specific weapons such as swords, hammers, chain blades, the axe, each having its own abilities. The character creation is decent, it has a lot of options to choose from though I prefer uh, the other character creator models uh, such as those from Black Desert Online and uh, Blade and Soul. Dauntless will be free to play soon, but players who cannot wait can buy a founder's pack and join the game. Your journey one universe. The future of EVE is here. On September 12th new capsule years will be introduced in the Info Online universe with new content on character creation. As the game textures look now a little bit outdated here and there, developers want to improve on them making the whole game look smoother and shinier. This is not all for this small update from September, developers also want to improve on the visual quality of firing effects especially for energy, hybrid and projectile weapons 
also adding new moon mining skills for gathering moon minerals. Be sure to grind your resources until October 24 when the new EVE Online expansion entitled Lifeblood is set to launch. This new expansion contains refineries, moon mining, improved reactions, resource wars, mm, that sounds neat, mining ledger and much more. As a side note, uh, EVE Online is one of my favorite games since I like the space very much, uh, traveling to other solar systems, uh, seeing uh, beautiful uh, planets and moons and all this beautiful place that is uh, on the background of the planets and uh, it looks actually very beautiful. <sighs> I hope one day uh, the human race will be able to travel as easy as it is in this uh, game. Up next in the news, winter is coming. Well, in a few months. Turbine Studios is working on a game project based on the TV series Game of Thrones. The game is called Game of Thrones Conquest and the players will be put at the head of their own powerful house with the ultimate goal of navigating the dangerous political landscape of Westeros and claiming the Iron Throne. This game is announced to be a MMORPG for mobile devices airing later in 2017 through the App Store and Google Play. People who are interested can pre-register on their website gotconquest.com and I think this game will be very popular especially because of the TV series. From some gameplay footage uh, I've seen on uh, the internet on YouTube, uh, Game of Thrones Conquest, uh, I must say, looks uh, pretty cool. Up next in the news, Enmas Entertainment has released its latest update on the game Critica Online. The update is called the Shatter Table and contains the new Ultimate Zone where players can clear or reset the zone twice a week. Players also are limited to 10 resurrections per attempt though you can make unlimited attempt. Shatter Table includes 5 map sectors with each sector increasing the difficulty. This update also includes Arena Renewal where players can enter Arena at level 15. Please note that a level 15 character can fight a level 65 character. PvP is not completely equalized. This thing reminds me of Guild Wars 2. Okay, that's all for this week, apologize for my uh, bad English, it's a first try so don't be so hard on me. Thanks for watching and leave a like, subscribe, follow and all that stuff if you like the video. Bye bye.